Yeah, it's just a quick little video on uh, these portable soldering irons. I picked one of these up, picked this one up, about two months ago and I've been using it. I love it. It's uh, so much better than the corded ones, especially if you're places where you don't easily have power, like working on a pinball machine or out working on one of the cars or something. But even here at the desk, um, basically they have a USB-C where you recharge them up here and a little light there. Paid less than $10 for this. It was supposed to have come with a bunch of accessories, but that stuff, I didn't care about any of that stuff. Uh, the tip just plugs into the end, so you can replace the tips, but at less than $10, you might as well just buy another one. Uh, to operate this one, you hold and push this button in until you see the lights come on, and you can release it. Now you can poke it. That's low power, medium power, high. I normally start on high, so I don't have to wait too long for it to warm up. And once it's warmed up, then... I'll usually kick it on down to some lower setting. Now it's not as fast as some soldering guns to uh, warm up, but it's not horrible either. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, it's already melting solder. So I'm going to tin up this little LED lamp that I want to put some wires on to. And normally if I was going to be soldering for a while, like I say, I'd poke this button until I got down to just one light. Because once it's up to temperature, I find the low setting works just fine. Then to uh, shut it off, you did like you did to turn it on. Just push and hold. You see the lights blink? Now it's it's off. And then you just uh, charge it up whenever it starts uh, running a little bit low. But uh, works great. Don't have any tethered cords in the way or anything like that. Uh, I won't leave a link for this. I did get it off AliExpress and there were dozens and dozens of sellers and there's fancier ones that you know give you a temperature readout and you got buttons where you can set the temperature and all kinds of crap like that. But since I wasn't sure if I was going to like this or not, I decided just to buy like the cheapest one I could find. And it came in a little plastic box, had a little roll of solder, had a little container of rosin flux, uh, had the tip and the unit. Oh, and a short, very short uh, USB to USC cable so that you could uh, charge the thing up in case you didn't have a cable. I had to throw all that other stuff away. In my particular case, when the thing arrived, the whole thing was covered in a white powder. Everything outside the box and inside the box. And in fact, when I first tried to charge this up, there was so much powder packed in here, this thing wouldn't even work. But I blew that out with my electronics uh, spray cleaner that I use for that kind of stuff and then charged it and I've been using it ever since and I threw all the other crap away. I think what had happened is there had been a, a, a fire somewhere not with this unit because the box wasn't burned and this wasn't burned but close enough that the uh, the fire which is basically bacon soda the fire extinguisher stuff goes everywhere when they when they hose things down and it had gotten into this box and just coated everything with a, a light white powder so I tossed everything cleaned this up and I've been using this uh, ever since it was even without the other crap, which I didn't care about, it was still well worth the 10 bucks. Actually, it was less than 10 bucks shipped. So I just say, uh, get online, get on AliExpress or whoever you like to buy from. I didn't even check Amazon. Check Amazon and eBay. They probably have sellers there too for these little portable soldering irons. It has a, a battery built in, a 3.7 volt battery. Got a charge thing, Type C port, one button control. Pretty cool.